Hello and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon, where we're on a quest to get back our friend Cole Ross. There's stuff going on, who cares? Let's go get our boy back. It's time for a short champion, 100% of room battles, in order to gain the ritual of resurrection and get back Cole Ross. Rumor has it there's a witch who practices resurrection magic. Let's find her. Who's on the case? Gary Butterfield rescuing his business partner. And friend. He's our risk taker. Extra damage. Doesn't care about dodging. Extra damage. Extra damage. Gonna be killing. Contest winner. The contest helping Cole. Crescendo box. Uh, then also the uh, cauterizing frost flame, which is cool. At the cost of extra stress and hurting him when he does it, uh, friendly skills will give everyone a, a heal over time and torch up. And his friendly skills, uh, the speed one hits everybody, so he's going to be a backup healer. And then we got Zach Handlon. Uh, elusive. That doesn't matter. Um, going to be bleeding, buffing, getting rid of stress. This is going to help getting rid of stress. This is going to be helping with bleed and damage. And then Weep Lord going to save Cole with healing. Outfit for healing. Big heals. Let's do it. Let's rescue our boy. It's a short mission, but we're going to bring a little bit of extra food. We're going to provision really well because I am mostly concerned about success. Um, this is the money that we can bring. It's not refunded at the end, but this we can gamble at the House of the Witch. Uh, I don't want to buy this because I'm not here to gamble. I'm here to uh, save my friend. We're going to bring a blood. No need for shovels? So there's no shovels in the House of the Witch. That makes me think this is maybe a bespoke dungeon. Uh, it's just going to, you know, be a certain type. So dungeon, let's bring this to you just in case we need it. It's okay. Should I bring some Aegis scales? I don't want to lose anybody else. No. Um, let's just do this. It's a lot of money put into this, but it'll be worth it to get coal. If I have plenty of money, I might want to gamble. Bring a gift of coin to the witch. If you're lucky, she'll give you a very special trinket. I do want to engage with that system. I don't want to do it now. I'm doing it to get my boy back. I have abandoned my boy. I have to save coal. If Autumn had died, i do the same thing. If Will had died... I'd be very sad momentarily. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I would go get Will as well. All right. Champion dungeons do not fuck around. These are long paths. I just chose right arbitrarily. Okay. I can handle these. Necromatic. That seems bad. All right. But I can harvest her. But she dodged. That's okay. I keep forgetting to bring a lot of accuracy stuff during uh so this will heal everyone and give them really good speed and this will cure everything and give everyone a heal it's an incredible trinket he's got going on there um keep forgetting to give people accuracy shit uh and we're not fucking around we brought lots of extra torches let's dragging it up get that stun let's get that stun though oh she's not stealth she's just the weird color Get that stun though. Alright, fuck these guys. Stand in the way of my boy. You're gonna die. Costing me, uh, because I got those crits, it did not cost me a lot of. Uh... There we go. All right, nobody gets a turn. Fuck you guys. Give me back my coal. Got the, uh, the res restoration. I guess he did a friendly skill on himself. I must have missed it. I did not bring scouting trinkets because I figured this was a bespoke dungeon. But I still got the scout. Okay, one battle. And another battle. Long Hallways is the name of this game. Glad I brought a goodly amount of torches. Maybe could have used more. If I have to, I'll switch out to uh, Bulwark of... Th oh, hello. Champion Collector is not to be fucked with. <laughs> this kind of sucks. 
Um, 95% stun. This is base 20 plus so 140. I think I need to take every opportunity I can to stun him. It's going to do a little less damage. But stunning him will be really good. And I get the crits. Resist the stun. That's okay. Please stun you. No? Okay. Um, we will buff ourselves for extra crits. It's like the one time I'm not into fighting this uh, this optional boss here. Three rolls and still didn't get it. That's unfortunate. Okay. A classic lineup of shitty heads. The ground quakes. No stuns, but a good hit, at least. Um... You can be bled. Slice off is five for three. This is four for three, but will hit her as well. It seems good. More overall damage. You cannot hit these people. Can zealous for pretty good damage to both of them, but let's try to kill. Yes. Give me back Cole. Don't life steal though. I need you not to survive, my friend. Okay, head games in him is fine. If you have to, I mean, he can hurt me really bad. Oof. Yeah. Um. Fuck. Keeping that bleed up. Crit on him is good. Got the torchlight. The dodges, though. Damn, man at arms. Okay. Crusader, go. Don't life drain me. Okay, thank you. Right, that's unfortunate. And I cannot hit him now. Also unfortunate. All right. Yeah. Okay, good miss. Weep Lord does not have enough hit points for you to be doing this. Okay. Dragon. Frostfire Bolt. Okay, you'll die. Excellent. We're doing okay so far. I don't know what happens at the end of this. I don't know if I just have to complete... Well, I do have to do 100% of room battle, so I might need to go to that battle down there in the lower left, which I don't love. Okay, what are you going to do? Are you going to summon more assholes? I figured. All right, mixed grill. Keep up that frostfire. 26, though. God, I love the Arcanist. Um, okay, that sucks. Well, that's the buff. I thought it was the heal. Do not mind the buff. Okay, Vestal's dead. Mm-hmm. No, please try to stress me while I have... Oh, that's finale stuff. That's a stun. Was this this done? Good, good. This is a bummer. It's a lot of damage. You're going to start needing some heals right now. Kill him. There we go. Yeah, fuck the ghoulish collection. Oh, thank you. At the end of everything, he switches to a, a mode, a healing mode, or like a passive mode, that is counting for this trinket. So every after every battle, he heals himself for eight. That's great. Okay, I might have to go to this one here to the left of this as well. All right, this is doable. Um, let's give everybody a heal and make sure everyone goes fast. And increase the torchlight wasting a turn, but 
it will be useful. Good crit. Thank you. Darkness does not have very many hit points. I need to remember that about him. Like, for a, a second position character. Oof. Like, he is hurting. 6-4-6, six, six, though. 36 points of bleed? What happened, brother? Yeah, see... He can get rid of that bleed himself, and the blight, actually, if I keep him in support mode during this mission and have the Jester and the, uh, yeah. So if I go, like, decurse, you're going to heal everybody and get rid of everything. Oh, it only does that on him. I need to remember that, but that's still worthwhile. Um... And I imagine some uh, Darkest Dungeon noobs might be like, hey, this party is so much more effective than the one you brought into the Banshee. They're just killing it. That uh, that Banshee party you brought out were a bunch of jabronis. Uh, no. The Banshee... Oh, I thought he was going to die with this. Uh, the Banshee party I brought out was really good. Uh, the Banshee is just a thousand times more hard than these uh, scrub room battles that I'm fighting. Like, maybe not a thousand times, but the Banshee fight was not fucking around. That was uh, definitely the hardest boss fight I've done in this. Let's oh, Hemophilia, no. That's actually not so bad. What is Hemophilia? Bleed resist? Yeah. That sucks, but I can, I can absorb it. All right. Time to... This will get two kills, but their people will die anyway. Oh. Horror? Oh, because of the the type of guy he was. Good crit. Five for five. Nobody needs stress relief yet at the very least. Crits are basically taking care of it. You could actually... I didn't even... Boy, that would have been smart. Um, but we're, we're looking good again. But anyway, this is so much easier than that was, I guess is just my point. Like, that was honestly horrendous uh, on a really intense scale. The reason I did that is because these guys are going to die when they move anyway. If I killed one of them, this guy would move up and he would do the escape cloud. Now I can kill him before he can uh, blight my frontliners. So it's called strategy, sweetheart. Look it up. And swap your modes and give somebody else a restoration. You could use some additional restoration, my friend. Four for four. That turns him awesome. Like, this makes the Arcanist like a really pretty phenomenal uh, backup, like, utility guy. Good trinket. You're dead. Let's heal some stress. Uh, I don't want them to call reinforcements. Alright, no I like these things. Put my torches together. I'm running a little low. Scout? I don't know if I had to go to this room. Let's go down here. If I had to go back to that room, that will suck. Let's just hope that I don't. Okay, I can handle this. She is stealthed. That's okay, I can hit her. Nobody needs healing, so we'll go offensive with the Arcanist. You will do this. Very unlikely to stun. Actually, shouldn't have done that. Um, that sucks. But... Make it all worthwhile. Get the blade. Good. And the crone is going to take my torchlight and stress me and shit. Bummer. The arcanist luckily brings back torchlight now. Okay. Ooh, good, good dodge. Boom. 
Bad dodge. Good bleed. Bad dark. Good dodge. There we go. Zach handling it. Four for two. It's reasonable. Reasonable blights, sensible bleeds. The Gary Butterfield story. Yeah, look at you. You're fucked. One more round. Two more rounds. Like, that wasn't great, but you're not summoning anything. But you're dodging everything, though. And that, I think, is frustrating. So I'm going to kill you rather than stress heal. Because I need you to die. Oh, Scarlet Ascension. Yeah. I still know exactly what that means. I think it just happens randomly. Slowly. But I'll take it, though. This is how a life I can't take any of this stuff? Well, I don't need that much debuff. I'm running pretty low on food. Oh, no, I'm not. I thought I only had that stack of four. All right, the additional defense is going to be awesome for my Crusader. This is great. Do I need to go back? Nope. Hell yeah. You love to see it truly. Okay, so she might be my lady. This might be the quest. Um, Brigand Raider. Brigand Hunter. All right, these guys seem nasty. Um, so I might be able to just talk to her, and she might want to gamble, but beating this battle might give me coal back. <laughs> I brought all of my engines to bear. Whenever there's two of these backliners, it really makes me wish I had a... Uh, Somebody with a post. These guys would be fucked. The will to fight. Um, but I do not. Mm -hmm. Do not feel like getting blood right now. And you get the bleed on the stealth, Yalon. All right, you're dead. You're going to get close to me. Still going to be stealthed, unfortunately. Zach Handlin can't handle that. I can Dragon's Breath you, though. That's cool. Yeah, baby. And if I kill this corpse, he can't really do anything good to me. Like, he can't do this move again after I kill the corpse. So, uh, unfortunately, he cannot kill the corpse. So let's do... Help Gary come back with a little less stress. And you can actually Zealous and hit them both and kill the corpse. Didn't hit him, but that's okay. He's useless now. The wounds of war can be healed, but never that doesn't mean I can hit him. Oh, this is interesting. I can oh, ignore stealth. Oh, this bypasses stealth. I forget that about that. I wish I'd done that earlier. I don't think it would have actually made that big a difference in my tactics, but it's a good lesson to like be aware of that stuff. So five stress, 16... Six, eight. Give Gary some more, some more tunage. The blood quickens. You look like an idiot wearing another creature's head on your head. Don't be an idiot. All right, so I think this crone. Of course, want this stuff. Remind yourself that overconfidence Brought six laudums. What the fuck is wrong with me? Um. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So this chrome might give me that coal. Yeah. Continue adventuring. Greetings. What do I want? Trade with her or steal. Tip. Use gift coin here. I have no gift coins. I did not bring any. What happens if I just give you something random? Okay, nothing. All right. So I don't want to steal from her. I don't want to fight an accidental boss or whatever. If I bring coins, that's where I can gamble. But if I go home, I should now get coal back. 
He's going to be very expensive. Broke even. Gary got diseased. And Zach got diseased. Black Plague, Pale Man's Plight, War and Sex Station. None of that stuff matters. Um, all right. Give me coal. Yes, baby. Look, it's Cole Ross, the legendary highwayman. All of his skills suck, but he keeps his quirks, which are all good. Reckless is bad, but he keeps his natural swing, and he keeps the continuity of being coal. Oh, we have brought the witch for resurrection ceremony. It will be expensive. How do I take him? Oh, 200 crest as well? I don't have 200 fucking crests. Are you kidding me? That's interesting. Can I get 200 crests? I don't think so. Six. And not even close. Fucking astounding. That sucks. Well, live and learn. Give me him. I guess that's a good balance thing. 200 crest, though. And he would have cost 3,500 gold, 1,000 gold, and I had to buy all of his stuff again. It might just be worth naming somebody new Coal. <laughs> you got a highwayman for me? Is it meant to be? No, not yet. This is all the new classes. I need a highwayman. Training up a new highwayman might end up being better. <laughs> 35,000 plus. So we have $55,000, 200 crest Cole Ross. Cool. I love you, buddy. I can't do it this week. There's nothing I can do. I don't have the heirlooms for it. I now know how hard it is to go do that, which is not hard. So I can do that whenever I want and feel like paying for it. I also know next time to bring uh, a coin to try that. But uh, yeah, good to know. Learning about mods. <laughs> Fucking A. All right. Well, rest in peace, Cole. Uh, and I will. <laughs> Who's the MVP? I don't know. <laughs> Zach, I think. Those damage over times, those crits were really good. Also contest winner. Purported very well. Uh, sorry, Cole. Rest in peace, my friend. Take care and bye. <laughs>